going on YouTube? Uh, this is System Wave he Eight here. I am uh, going to show you today how to view Diablo in a couple of different perspectives. Um, the first of which is using it in full screen. There are different properties in full screen that you can mess with. Uh, I found it to be, um, I found it to be kind of finicky using this um i haven't got okay so like this here full screen optimization i don't think that's it but you can try that anyway i found that it's kind of different for each computer's my laptop on the other hand i can play diablo in full screen and um and it doesn't um it doesn't scale it to the actual full screen where is it the 16 by 9 ratio you know um, basically the widescreen version right I, I can play it that way uh, <clears throat> on my laptop and it doesn't scale and I can already tell that it's going to scale here you guys won't be able to see that perspective in game uh, but what I'm seeing is I'm seeing the entire from here on out I'm seeing it stretched to my widescreen monitor um, but the way OBS picks it up is it actually picks it up at a uh, 4 by 3 ratio so with that said Let's go ahead and exit. Uh, that's the first mode you might want to... Oh, what's going on here? Why does my... Um... Ah, there we are. <laughs> okay, so the second mode I would say is using Diablo. Um, with glide settings. And if you don't know what glide settings is, go ahead and search glide wrapper Diablo 2 on the internet and you'll find this glide wrapper. And it tells you this, you know, I can actually show you the directory, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Okay, there. So, <clears throat> yeah, so you'll, you'll have this interface, this executable file right here, and then you have, like, I believe it's a DL glide. And then there's one more, a couple, another file to, to put into your game folder. Um, you, I don't want to show you the settings. I think you can go and you know YouTube that as well on a different site. But um, uh, yeah, so you'll have to set up your glide settings like so. I play in windowed and using the 3D effects. Okay. So what it does is it basically takes the full screen experience, meaning you can uh, use perspective. Um, and that allows it to have us kind of a 3D viewing angle within Windows, but you're actually playing it in a window on your desktop, which is, you know, kind of optimal at times. So if we go in, you can see here that um, in my, oh, I've got borderless gaming on. <laughs> You'll see that um, full screen right here. And it's, wow, this is actually a really super weird viewing angle. I don't usually play like this, but yeah. You'll see that it, the rendering, you can see the, the these models right here, they're, they stand out in the 3D fashion. Um, the way I will characters this look even. Wilderness. They're just slightly more detailed and more 3D. Um, let's see the sound options, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so that's, um, you know, if you turn off perspective, you can kind of get that classic view that everyone usually plays, and I, I, that's actually the way that I play, because it's like, it's just a classic feel for some reason, but you can keep it on. So that's one of the ways to play, that's this, actually the second way to view Diablo on your desktop. This was actually weirdly successful in taking away the borders, but as you can see, um, or, you know, bordering the window, it's just, it's kind of a weird ratio. So you can kind of meddle and fiddle with those things if you want to, to find the most optimal setting. I don't use uh, Glide. I want to learn and kind of customize Glide so that it might be good, but I just don't know how to do it yet. Um, if you figure it out, then fantastic. It's one of the options that you can use. It's the one of the best ways to play it um, and to capture a great frame rate while playing Diablo 2. So you can see it's like hyper smooth, even in this perspective, perspective mode. It's like super smooth. There's no like mouse delay or anything like that. Okay, so that's that. So let's go ahead and close it. Okay, so the final method that I'll show you here is um, using uh, borderless gaming. And here, what I wanted to do is right here. So we'll run this. So the 
the way that you're going to want to run borderless game is you're going to want to go to the target line of your game folder and you're want to get a set you're going to want to set it to windows mode right windowed mode that way when you click on here and i actually have a borderless game set up if you're looking for it all you have to do is search borderless gaming right here it'll take you to this website right here and you just download this uh, this exe file right here and once you've installed and everything you have a program that looks like this all right so what i've done here is i once you open up the window it'll show you um the name of your window and if you right click on that option you can find the changes right here so i have mine set to no size change i have it set to, de to delay the window and to remove menus and basically what this does is it shows you to play Diablo um, in a full screen fashion. Let me go ahead and show you why I made these settings and most of all delay borderless window. So once I open it, it'll open up in Windows mode. Right away, I like to expand the window. And <clears throat> in a little bit, it will it will automatically size. There you go, you see that? So it took away the menu and on a delay uh, and not immediately. And there you go. And now you have the cleanest way to play Diablo. I think it's the cleanest way, it's classic. Um, you're actually on, in your Windows environment and you're using a window, but it won't. Um, let's see here. Uh, but it's it's not going to take away from the true aspect ratio of what you're supposed to play on Diablo. Um, it, again, this works on my laptop this way, and it actually works on my desktop this way. So it's the only way that I can get a consistent 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 perspective on um, on Diablo 2. Okay, so with that said, to further enhance the experience, if you want to play as if you're playing um, within the game itself, kind of like the full screen version is I, I generally like to have a cool background like I, I have a better background on my laptop but if you wanted to do a solid color you could and it automatically changes and you can go ahead and hit right click on the desktop hit view go to show desktop icons and there you are now you're in this entirely just game perspective it's only Diablo and this is the way that I play most of the time when I play for maybe like an hour if I have some time or some two hours or something like that um, but yeah you can use this for plugging in um, but yeah this is this is my setup um, it's if you have a cool background I highly recommend that you have a great background my background on my Mac is, is excellent and it's the same background that's on my laptop. It just adds a little bit more to the immersive experience of Diablo 2. So yeah, if you uh, enjoy the video, you know, do the usual. Give it a like or whatever. And um, yep, yeah, let me know if you have any comments. Have a good one, guys.